Hello Mac users! Today we are going to be talking about how to fix some issues or warnings which may arise when we initialize stable diffusion locally on your Mac. To do that, I'm going to use the warp terminal, but feel free to use your default terminal. I would really recommend using warp. You can download it for free from their website, just click on the download button for Mac, and then the installation process will be straightforward. Warp is a user-friendly terminal, which offers many features to simplify your terminal experience. One of the main features is the integration with ChatGPT, with that, you can easily search for solutions to common issues without having to leave the terminal and going into Stack Overflow or digging into Reddit. Warp also includes a common lookup feature, and this is very useful for who is new to terminals or who is not really familiar with all of the comments available in a terminal. Finally, but not less importantly, at least for me, he has a very cool interface. You can change your background, you can change fonts. So in my opinion, it makes the experience with the terminal more enjoyable and productive. Okay, going back to stable diffusion now, we know that this is finally functional for Mac users as well, not just Windows and Linux, but when we compare the performance of stable diffusion on Mac to Windows of Linux, we can see that the performance is slower. And this is due to Mac's lack of support for NVIDIA GPU. Now, users with more powerful Mac devices can still run stable diffusion without encountering such a slow performance. Nevertheless, warnings or errors may arise when they are installing stable diffusion due to this lack of support. Okay, let's open our terminal. I'm going to open warp. This is the warp main interface and we are going to run stable diffusion now. For doing that, we need to dive in into the stable diffusion folder. I have stable diffusion folder in my desktop, so I need to dive into that folder. To do that, I type cd and then desktop and then as you can see here warp is already suggesting me where I should go so we can just press the right arrow to confirm the suggestion and press enter cool let's see where we are again we are here so I need to go a step forward so I'm going cd again into this folder let's see again where we are and here you go we are in the main Stable Diffusion Web UI folder. In order to run Stable Diffusion, we need to run this file here, webui.sh, which I'm going to run using this command. And that's it. Now, the file worked okay. If I run this URL, you will see that Stable Diffusion is opening and it will work okay. However, if you look into the code, you will see that there are some warnings here. So now let's have a look at them, let's see how to fix them, and let's see if they are really relevant for us. The first is here, Torch not compile with CUDA enable memory monitor disable. Okay, let's see what this means. Let's open Warp AI on top right here, and we can just, you know, copy the error, command C, command V, and let's see what Warp AI says. He says, this warning message indicates that the PyTorch library was not compiled with CUDA enabled, which means that the library cannot use the GPU for computations. If you want to use the GPU for computation, you need to install PyTorch with CUDA support, and then it gives you some information. Now, when we ask Warp AI, it doesn't really know that we are using a Mac. It's giving you suggestion whether you are a Mac or Windows or Linux users. So, Given we are Mac users, I think we should know something really important. And this is that CUDA is a computing platform generated by NVIDIA for general computing on GPU. And by default, the Mac doesn't have an NVIDIA GPU. So it seems quite obvious now that we cannot compile PyTorch with CUDA. 
In simple words, we can say that PyTorch cannot read the language within NVIDIA GPUs and for doing that uses CUDA, right? But if we don't have NVIDIA GPU within the Mac, we don't need CUDA which is the middle point, right, between PyTorch and NVIDIA. And we can double check that. If we go into the PyTorch website here, and if we scroll down, we can see that when we choose what we need, Conda, Pip, Light Torch, and like any really, Python, we can see that CUDA is disabled. So there is really nothing we can do here we just need to live with the fact that when we are generating images, the process will be a little bit slower because we are not using the GPU acceleration. So let's now skip to the next warning, which is non-module Xformers proceeding without it. Xformers is a way to speed up image generation and lowers VRAM usage at the cost of producing non-deterministic results. What does non-deterministic results mean? It means that using the same parameters made results in different results, which shouldn't be the case because if I'm using the same parameters for generating an image, I should expect having similar results, right? Now we can again copy and paste this inside Warp AI. And Warp AI is telling us that actually we can install Xformers. However, this Xformers library is available only for NVIDIA GPU. And again, we are using Mac, which doesn't support NVIDIA GPUs. So also in this case, we can ignore this warning. Let's go back to our terminal and let's see the next warning. So here, you are running Torch 1.12.1. The program is tested to work with Torch 1.13, blah, blah, blah. Now again, we take the warning and we copy and paste it here. And let's see what Warby is telling us. He's saying you should consider upgrading your Torch version to 1.13.1. One thing we should consider though is the environment in which we are running this code. To check that we can, first of all, we need to get out of this. So you press Ctrl C to exit the code. And we can type Vim and the name of the file to see in which environment we are. And okay, if we look at here, we have this VAMP environment. I'm telling you this because I was trying to upgrade in the base environment, but obviously it wasn't working because Python is running on the VAMP environment. So let's go back. I think we can, okay, we can type uh, column QA to get out of the Vim page we were before and then from here so you can see here I'm in the base environment what I have to do I need to change to the VAM environment now how to activate the VAM environment let's first see where we are so we need to go into this VAM folder VAM folder then bin and then we need to activate this file so we'll type sorts Something very interesting is that when you hover over a command on the warp terminal, it tells you what this command does, which I think is quite useful. Then bin and activate and press enter. Okay, now you can see here you have VAMB next to base. This means that the VAMB environment has been activated. Great. And here is where we need to upgrade our Torch version. So we'll go here and insert code into terminal. Press enter. Okay, great. Now let's try and run the web UI file again and let's see if we still have some warnings. We actually do have some warnings still. Here is a new one, user warning fail to load image Python extension. So let's stop this and then let's copy and paste. Where is it? I lost it <laughs> uh, here. So we just copy and paste this. We copy and paste this here. 
Okay, it's telling us the warning message suggests that there is an issue with loading the image Python extension in Torch. This could be due to a missing or not compatible library. You can try the following step to resolve the issue. Let's try. So, thank you, Warp AI. Let's try this. Okay. Now let's run the web UI again. Okay. So we have the same errors we had before, that's fine. And then here it's saying, use a warning, the Torch Vision Transform Functional Tensor Module is deprecated in 0.15 version and will be removed in 0.17. Okay, actually this is, yes, it's a warning, but what it's telling us is that this module will be removed in version 0.17, but what we have, we have version 0.15. So it's something that we, can ignore for now, we'll think about it when version 0.17 will be out and we'll be using it. So I think that's great, right? We don't have any error anymore. Everything seems to be working okay. And we can uh, run our stable diffusion just pressing our local URL. So I think that this warp terminal is uh, very good for sorting out all our warnings or errors without, you know, losing time and digging into internet for looking at the right answer. And that's it. I hope this was helpful and see you at the next video. Bye.